Praise the Lord. Welcome to Life in the Word. My name is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. And that's to my right. Miss Perez. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us today on Life in the Word. Hit that like, hit that share button. Amen. Share, share, share. We're here again on Life in the Word. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Amen. We're talking about it's a time to face the truth. Amen. Mm -hmm. Been having a good time in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. God dealing with certain things in us. We hope that those who have been watching and starting to watch it begins to deal with you as well. Yes. Amen. And today we're going to talk about deal with the issues. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, deal with the things um, that cause that is causing strife, that's causing division, causing barriers, because issues are barriers. Yeah. You know, issues are barriers. Mm -hmm. Issues are things that happen to arise um, that causes division and separation between you and God. And yeah. you can even relate it to um, marriage or relationship or friendship issues. Issues come to separate the closest friends and certain things that happen. Um, that's not dealt with begins to come, you know, becomes bigger, it becomes greater, mm. and it becomes harder to deal with as long as you let it sit there right. and, and build up. But, and it's the same thing with our relationship with God. We have issues, God has issues with us when we decide that we want to sin and, and not do what he says. And God wants us to deal with certain things so that we can restore relation, uh, relationship back with him. Um, and until we do, uh, we won't experience God. We won't have the blessings we won't have breakthrough we won't have healing mm -hmm. we won't have the love um uh, and feel the love of god and 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 know the love of god until we get right because there's some things that that's banding you and that's keep you in stagnant because yeah. you you fail to recognize the issues and oh, deal yeah. with certain things and as we look at isaiah 58 6 it says is this not the fast that i've chosen to loose the bands of wickedness to Undo the heavy burdens and let the oppressed go free and that ye break every yoke. Right? Is it not to do with thy bread to the hungry and that thou bring the poor that are cast out of thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning and thine help shall bring forth speedily. Mm -hmm. And thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward oh right and look at this and as you look at the amplifier says rather is this not the fast which i chose to undo the bonds of wickedness to tear pieces the ropes of the yoke to let the oppressed go free and break apart enslaving yoke right and it says if you want to fast the way that pleases him get right with get right mm -hmm. get right with your brother and sister get mm -hmm. right with him get right with certain people because you're fasting but your fasting has no power behind no. it it has no effectiveness. No. It don't mean anything to God because you want to fast that pleases him. Some of our fasting is, is not being, um, you know, acceptable because we have not gotten right with God before we fasted. Right. You should have been fasting to get right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. You should have been fasting and say, God, where am I deceived? Where am oh I God. where am I blind? Lord, remove yes. the scales, remove the scales of blindness, remove yes. some things from me. God, I'm fasting for that because I wanna I wanna see myself. And one thing I always pray, you know, I always pray for myself is to never be self deceived. Oh my god, yeah. It's to never be mm. deceived. Oh Allow god. me to see myself so that I can deal with some issues because mm. the worst thing you could do is walk blindly. Right. Right. Hmm. To walk blindly, to never see yourself, to never address yourself to the point where you can see. Some of us see other people greater than we see ourselves. Hmm. Absolutely. How can you have an eye greater for everybody else, but not an eye to see yourself? Absolutely. Ah, my Jesus, God. My God. Yes. Jesus said, take the plank out your own eye my before Lord. you take the beam out your own brother's eye. That's what it. is he saying? See yourself. That's it. See yourself. That's it. Get Deal with some issues. That's it. Come on, deal with some things in yourself. Some of us don't want to deal with the issues of ourselves. We good at we good at critiquing. Oh my gosh. We're good yeah. at talking about other people's oh, yeah. sins and what they're doing wrong and how they did it and where they did it. We're good at talking about somebody else's mistakes. But we never say, you know what, man, I made that same mistake too. I can relate. I can tell you how I got it. That's I can it. tell you how I dealt with it. I can tell you when I fasted, I did get breakthrough because I fasted about myself. I That's didn't it. fast about no cars, no houses. I didn't fast about no, no relationship. Mm -hmm. no. I didn't fast about anything else i fasted to get right with god amen that's it that's it getting right with the lord mm -hmm. that's what we need to do that's what our desire is and this is a fast that's acceptable to god so what's god saying give me an acceptable fast amen my god mm. give me a fast that i'm satisfied with my god it's good that you're fasting but is it acceptable right is it pleasing to god my you god. know that you can do things and it's not pleasing to god jesus 
Wow. You, you're doing everything, but it's not pleasing to God. Mm. You getting up early, you praying, and, and you're doing certain things. And then God said, well, you went another morning and you didn't even pray about, you didn't repent, and you never said nothing about your sins. Right. How you want relation with me and you haven't even deal with? Right. You didn't, deal, you didn't even deal with how you treated me. That's it. My God. Mm. Deal with the issue. That's what we're talking about. Jesus. Deal with the issues. My God. Come on. My we Lord. sweeping the issues under the rug every My morning. Lord, every night we go to bed and we say, hey, you know what? I'm good. I'm satisfied because, hey, maybe God don't see me. And God maybe doesn't even care about what's happening or what I did because I'm under his grace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. let his grace <laughs> allow you to make you stay in sin. No. no. <laughs> he didn't give you grace for that. No, he did not. So that you can mm -hmm. stay in sin. No. Come no. on. Mm -hmm. He gave you grace in case you made a mistake. That's it. That's and you, it. In, in, in case you did miss the mark. Oh my God. Jesus. But some of us are deliberately. Right. Intentionally saying, mm -hmm. hey, I'm not going to repent. Right. Mm. Right. Hmm. Come on. Mm, my God. If you got siblings, I know, you know. You know, if, if something happened and your parents say, well, you go say sorry to your brother. Mm -hmm. You know, there's little, you know, sibling yeah, robbery, yeah, there's yeah. little fighting. Yeah, yeah. And something happened. Say, hey, go, you go say sorry to your brother. You go say sorry to your sister. And one of you is like, no, I'm not. Right. That's what we do to God. Right. No, I'm not. My God. Oh, my gosh. I'm yeah. telling you. Oh, my God. But I want you to say something. <laughs> you know what? It, it's, it's, that's what he says. He is, it's, it's for us to, like you said, be real before him. It, he wants a fast you know, it's not about we lay our life, we lay our plate down, okay? But we're still nasty. What What is that? Yeah. What are you doing it for? You're yeah. wasting your time. Eat. Eat if you're going to be nasty after you fast. Yeah. Come on. You know, you're, you're, it's too, what he says, what is the, the fast? He says, rather, is this not the fast That's which I, I choose to undo the bonds of wickedness, to tear pieces, tear to pieces the ropes of the, the yoke. yoke. Yeah. To let the oppressed go free and break apart every enslaving yoke. That's not only to help others, that's for us for too. For us, for us, yeah. Lord, this is it. This is my issue, Lord. I, I've been rebellious in this area. I've been stubborn in this area. Father, forgive me. I need help. Um, mm. to, to really just truly just say, Lord, like you said, just, just be naked before him, transparent. And I'm not talking about literally neck. I'm just being transparent yes. before him and just pouring out and letting him shine the light in yes. you. You know? Then he goes, is it not to divide your bread with the hungry? When you see somebody needs help, help them. Because you didn't, like Pastor said before, he goes, you want to fast? You're fasting, you, pay, you put your plate down, buy somebody some food. Mm -hmm. You know? That's something you, you see. Allow God to make you sensitive not only to yourself but to the needs of others. Yes. Okay. That's it. To bring the homeless poor into the house. When you see the naked, that you cover them. And not only naked physically, but naked spiritually. Yes. Because yes. it's, it's all the inside. He works with the inside, the inside first. The inside. So they can be naked spiritually. Somebody's uncovering the, the, the brother. Oh, did you see the brother's in the thing? Leave him alone. Stop. Pray for him. Yes. Oh, did you see his shoes? Did you go buy him a pair of shoes? Yeah. So yeah. it's it's covering it's 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 a lot and he goes and do not and not to hide yourself from the needs of your own flesh, flesh and, and blood. blood your own family yeah you, and your needs you we need to be right yes and we can only be right through him he goes yeah. and when your light will then your light will break out like the dawn then God's light will shine yes. through you to be able to draw all men to him. Yes. And your healing, restoration, new life will quickly spring Before. forth. The realignment, reconnection, renew in him. Yes. Your righteousness will go before you, leading you in peace and prosperity. The righteousness of God teaching us, leading us. We're in right standing with God because of what he's done. Yes. Leading you to peace and prosperity. Why peace? Of course. Because when you're in sin or when you don't recognize your sin, like you said, blind to yourself. You are, you have no peace. No. Yeah, and you're wondering what's wrong, but you're not facing you. Yes. Like the man in the mirror. Yes. And you're seeing everything else, but you're not seeing you. Right. So you have no peace because you're trying to figure, you're, you're, the sin is telling you, yeah, it's you, it's you, it's you. But you're saying, oh, no, it's, the, it's so and so and so and so. No. Yeah. It, we have to face it. And then he goes, the, and the glory of the Lord will be your real God, mm. our divine protection. Divine protection. Divine, divine relationship, divine connection, divine yeah. intimacy with God, sensitivity to him. 
that we'll be able to, to be to be sensitive. That's why I, one of my prayers is, Lord, convict us and quickly convict us quickly when we do something, so that you we can repent and you can restore. Mm -hmm. Because it's He that does the restoring. It's mm -hmm. Him that repair the breach. It's like. Um, you said the acceptable sacrifice. That's why nothing we can do on our own mm -hmm. strength is acceptable to God. Right, right. That's why Jesus had to come and lay down his life. Mm -hmm. So because he laid down his life, he picked up the cross, laid down his life, did what he, and he says, pick up your cross and follow me. Do as he does. Yes. So we have to lay down those things that easy be said. Is we have to look at ourselves for real. And like you said, we have to deal with the issues. Every issue. Even go back. Ask God to, to go and take us all yes. the way back. Yes. To when the, the, the beginning. Because he says, and you said sweep it on the rug. It's so much easier to pick up the dust that's right there than for you to keep sweeping it and sweeping it. Then you get a mountain. You don't trip over that mountain because yeah. you don't want to pick it up. Just pick it up. Just deal allow them to deal, to deal with it. Right. Deal, deal with, with the that issues. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Because your breakthrough could be a decision away. Oh, my God. Your yes. restoration could be a decision away. Yeah. Uh, reconnecting um, could be uh, a decision away. Uh, prosperity could be a decision away. Oh my God. I mean, blessing a, a blessing could be a decision away because you decided to get right, right with God. Um, and some things maybe have not been working in your life because you decided not to be real mm -hmm. and say, you know what? I've been broken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was messed up. I was on the other end of rejection. I was the, the person that rejected. I, you know, you have to be honest and say what the things you've done mm -hmm. and the things that you experienced. Right. Because there's some issues... Issues can talk about multiple things. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, you may even have you may even have to daily go into your heart and deal with that thing till it goes away. Oh my God, that's it. My God, that's it. You may have to go oh in your God, heart yes. every day. You said, "Well, well I, I feel it's gone." Right, but. If and then next day it comes back again. Oh my and you gosh. say, you know what? I thought I dealt with it. I have to go back again in my heart mm. and deal with that thing. And I have to do it every Jesus. day and talk to that issue oh, and say, guess yeah. what? You're not going to take hold oh of me. God. You're not going to keep me no. bound. Mm -mm. You're not going to keep me locked up mm -mm. and deal with that issue. Deal That's with the it. unforgiveness. Deal with the sin and deal with everything. Else. Every day you have to go out because you have to get breakthrough, you know, after you have made the decision and say, guess what? I, for me not to have the issues, mm -hmm. I have to deal with the issues. Every day. Every day, like a check, yeah. right? like a check. You, like, know, you, you, you check. Well, it's like I thank God that He's He can go on the reins of our heart. Yeah. There's things that we don't even. That's why they say the heart is deceitfully wicked. Yeah. Who would know it? He's the only one that can go and search and go like this. Okay, yeah. yeah let's stretch this out right here. Yeah. Oh, you see that little thing? Oh, okay. Let's. Okay, that's it. So you. Okay, that's done. Now here goes it. Oh, let's stretch right here. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Jesus have mercy. I'm telling you, dealing with the Ooh, issues, fine. dealing with Jesus. um all the things. That stop you from, you know, like I said, getting connected with God, being fellowship with God. Because you remember, it's the same thing you could relate to your own personal life, mm -hmm. to a marriage, to a yeah. friendship, to a relationship. Things are never going to be the same until you deal with some issues. That's it. That's it. Deal with it. Some things have gone away. Some things have deteriorated mm -hmm. because of things you not dealing with issues. That's it. There's some things that fall into pieces because you never dealt with the issues. That's it. There's a part of yourself that's that's failing and that's withering away because you're not dealing with the issues. That's it. There's part of you. Your your walk with God, your relationship with God is failing and fading away because you maybe you're not dealing with issues. Mm. Maybe you're not praying as much as you used to. Maybe mm. you're not reading your word as much as you used to because you're not dealing with the issue. Mm. What caused you to not be in the right place with God? Right. What cause you? My God, Jesus. Yes. What's cause? What's the cause? Right. Is there not a cause? Right, my God, Jesus. We my have God. to be able to deal with the issues. Amen. If you want to see the light of God, you want to see the breaking of dawn in your life, and you want to see, um, you know, great things happen for you, deal with the issues. Whatever your issues is today, deal you. with it. Amen. Confront that thing. Yeah, deal with that thing. Them. Face we it, we all got some kind of oh, issue. Yes. And there's some more issues that we got to deal with. But if you want to live a, 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 a healthy Life in God, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to understand issues will come and you're gonna have to deal with it. That's it. Address them. Address don't, them. Don't don't sweep them under the rug. Address them. Don't suppress it. Yeah. Let it come up to the surface so that God can oh my God, just, just take it out. Just take it yeah. out. Yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We pray the world bless you. Amen. It did something for you. Yes. Amen. Pray it touch awesome. your heart. Amen. We pray that you enjoyed Amen. it. Please, and if you did, please like, please Amen. share us. Amen. Share. I uh, pray that you're having a good time on Life in the Word. We thank you for watching. My name again is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. And that's to my right. Ms. Perez. Praise the Lord. Please remember that Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. God bless you.